One interesting way of uh, re refusing a request is never say no to a request that you don't want. It sounds a bit like an oxymoron. What I'm not suggesting is that you always say yes to requests, but you just never say no, n because no is, uh, is, is slightly uh, aggressive. No can be taken the wrong way. And the person who's requesting something from you can often become defensive. defensive. And if they're your boss, they can force you to say yes. This is what I also call the Tai Chi, the Tai Chi Chuan method. Now Tai Chi, you may know, is the gentle uh, activity that generally older people do in parks, where they move very slowly in very slow motion moves that, that are similar to uh, uh, um, Gong Fu, Kung Fu, or, or karate type moves. Um, but what actually is Tai Chi Chuan? Tai Chi Chuan is the aggressive, Chuan means punch. It's the aggressive style based on the same movements. The Tai Chi Chuan methodology is if someone attacks you, it's a bit like Jiu-Jitsu, which is the Korean art. When someone attacks you, you use their energy to move that energy past you rather than through you. So if someone's to punch you, you take their arm and you move it past you and they fall over themselves, or at least that's, that's the idea. Um, in other forms of Kung Fu or Gong Fu, uh, it's a very uh, defensive mode where you, where you block the aggressor and you put your hands up and therefore you absorb a lot of the energy and that, that can still be quite painful. So think about, think about uh, refusing a request very similar to Tai Chi Chuan. That is, you don't want to say no because saying no is like putting your hands up and absorbing the impact. Rather, what you want to do is you want to move the energy past. So for example, what I do, if someone was to ask me a request for say, helping with a project that I simply don't have the time to do, or perhaps it's the end of the day, I might say something like, well, I'd love to help you and I'm available next Wednesday. You know, this might be a Friday request. Or perhaps someone asks me for my expertise and I might say, well, absolutely, this sounds like a fantastic project and you know who's even better suited than I am? Speak to Bryce, he's excellent. Now, what you might notice from my language is that I'm very positive and I also don't use the word but. The word but is a very negative word. If I was to say, I'd love to help you, but that is just like putting your hands up and absorbing a punch. What you don't want to do is you want to say, you don't want to say but, so you want to use the word and instead. So again, I'd love to help you and I've got time on Wednesday to assist, assuming that they'll choose someone else in the meantime. Or I'd love to help you, it sounds like a great project. In fact, I know someone who's even better suited than I, his name is Bryce, speak to him. By doing this, you're not creating tension, you're not saying yes, but you're also avoiding saying the word no.